guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kat Jam. I am a Twitch, TikTok, and YouTube content creator and live streamer. And on my YouTube, I have a series called Live Streaming for Dummies, where I teach you dummies how to go live. And on this episode of Live Streaming for Dummies, we are going to be talking about TikTok alerts. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. For TikTok Live Studio, there is a requirement. You do have to have either 1,000 followers as a gaming TikTok content creator or 10,000 followers as any other content creator. It's a weird requirement. I know I didn't make the rules. They change it all the time. So I don't know, it could be different tomorrow. And once you have TikTok Live Studio, you're also going to want to open the website Tickfinity. And I left it down below for you just to make it a little bit easier. So what you're gonna wanna do when you get here is hit this let's start your adventure button and it's gonna bring you to the setup tab here. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to log in or create a free account. Sweet, and then once you're logged in, make sure you're on this setup tab and type in your TikTok name. Now I know on TikTok you technically have two names. You have your handle and then you have your name that's kind of displayed on top of your profile, make sure you type in your handle here. And if you're unsure, you can just hop over to tiktok.com and whatever this at is right here in the URL, that's gonna be your handle. It's also right here on top, it's the bigger username. Once you have that, you're gonna type that in. If you hit connect to TikTok Live, it's gonna automatically fail and give a connection error because you have to be live to actually connect your TikTok live. So right now all we're doing is editing all of our settings. So once you type your TikTok name here, you're all set. You have your point system here, your subscriber bonus, level settings. You have your OBS connection here. If you do have a stream key and you are using OBS, you can set it up here. For the sake of this video, we are not going to be using OBS, but this video still will be helpful if you are going to be using OBS. There is a streamer.bot connection, a Minecraft connection, resetting all of the points, and then Tickfinity Pro. It's $15 a month. You can create unlimited actions, events, and sound alerts. There's a Discord role and just a bunch of features that you may not be getting when you have a free account. I personally don't really touch this setup tab unless I am putting in my TikTok name and connecting to the actual TikTok Live. Next tab here, we have our overlay gallery. This one is actually pretty fun. So you have a modify here. Every time a viewer sends an emoji or a subscriber emotes, these emojis will slide across the stream. This is only for Tickfinity Pro members, so I don't personally use it, but if you have Tickfinity Pro, it could be a cool, fun feature to use. You also have the chat here. Again, you can display the chat of your TikTok stream onto the screen. I wouldn't suggest this feature because if you're on TikTok as a user, you can already see the chat. It's already on the screen. You have points animation, user info screen when a user uses the points information command. There's a command info screen where if you have specific commands in your chat box, you can display those commands. My actions. Okay, now we're getting into the good stuff. Once you get to my actions, this is a feature that you may wanna use. It's something that I use on my stream and I find really helpful. Essentially, this is the notification pop-up for all of your alerts. So if somebody sent you a rose or if they followed or even sent 100 likes, this is where it would pop up on the screen. So because I want to use this, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy the URL right here. It will copy into my my clipboard. I'm going to drag TikTok Live Studio over here and I'm going to add source right here. Once you add your source, I'm going to hit the link button, hit add, and then I'm going to paste the link that I just copied right here and hit preview. You can hit preview. And then what I'm going to do is hit add source right here. And once you click link, you'll see the box right here. I'm going to move it all the way over here. And there you go. It's going to live right here on the screen. So there you go. There is your first link that you have on screen. There is a ranking list with the most points. There's a point drop here, a timer. If you're doing any song requests, you can do it here. A coin jar and a tiny dining. It's kind of hard with TikTok, right? Because the UI is so tiny, it's hard to add all of these overlays. So I like to keep it as minimalistic as possible over on TikTok. That's my suggestion. Again, if you wanna cloud your TikTok stream with a bunch of overlays and fun actions and tiny dinies and jars and alerts, totally do 
do your thing. But again, you're working with a really, really tiny screen there. So just keep that in mind. All right. So once I have my action set up, which personally is my most important overlay here, I'm going to go down to goal overlays here and actually set up my goals. I'm going to go to goal overlays here and set up a few goals. So this is going to be all of your progress indicators. You have your like goals, your share goals, your follow goals, your view count, your coins earned, channel points earned, new subscribers. And then you also have your custom goals here. Anything you want to customize that may not be up here. There are three goals that I like to follow while I'm TikTok live streaming, which are likes, followers, and coins earned. Here, I'm going to do my goal. So I would start with a pretty low goal, right? So let's say our goal is 100 likes. Here in the title, I like to label this like goal so your followers know what the goal is. For example, if I changed this and said, hey guys, nobody would know what that means. Make it really clear and concise. Or let's say when you hit 100 likes, you're going to do spicy noodle challenge. You can type spicy noodle challenge so your viewers will know once you hit that 100 likes you will do the spicy noodle challenge i personally like to keep this super simple just like goal and then here where it says when reached this is the action that's going to happen as soon as that 100 likes are reached you can increase that goal so it's going to increase in little increments as the goal goes on you can hide the goal completely once you hit 100 likes or something that i like to do is i like to double that goal again i'm gonna hit copy url bring it down my TikTok Live Studio once again, hit add source, go to link right here, add link, paste it in here, add source, and you should see a pop up right here. I like to hit alt and make this just a little bit shorter here so I can actually work with it. And you can put this anywhere on your screen. My advice for TikTok Live is to just keep these as big as possible so your viewers can actually read what's on the screen. Cool. So once I have my goal overlay, again, you can add whatever goal you want here. I'm going to go to last X overlays. This is going to be the overlay to show the user who took the action, the last action. So for example, the last follower, last gifter, last subscriber, last share, etc., etc. Um, you could use this to have people more inclined to follow if they want to be the last follower on the screen. Um, I personally don't do this. Again, it clouds the screen just a little bit too much for me. But if you want to do that, feel free and keeping that same exact pattern of copying that URL, going to TikTok Live Studio, hitting add source, going to link, adding the link, copy and pasting. Now, my favorite part of Tickfinity, we are going to go to sound alerts right here. This is where you can get really fun with sound alerts for subscribers, followers, gifters. What sound alerts are going to do is really have people interact more with your stream because they want to hear that sound alert. So for example, my sound alert today that I used for followers was this. Thank you for following. I also for roses play a little fart noise. <laughs> Heart me's, I do, hey girly. Hey girly. So the way you're gonna set this up is you're going to hit create sound alert here. Drop down to select trigger and you can either select follow, share, subscribe, any gift at all, or you can select a specific gift. So let's pick that sound alert. What I'm gonna do is hit select sound here. And what I love about Tickfinity is that there's actually a sound library. I might be using the- What's up brother? Sketch sound, what's up brother? Let's do it. So I'm gonna hit apply here. Sweet, so once you have all those sound alerts set up, you're all set. You don't have to drag anything into TikTok Live Studio. It's just all going to do that automatically. But if you go to actions and events, you can get really down to the nitty gritty here. So for example, Something I like to do in my stream is every 100 likes, there is a Riz sound that happens, right? So this is where it gets a little weird and confusing. That's why I like to use sound alerts and stick with this. But so if you want to use special sound alerts, um, for example, 100 likes that you couldn't do in this sound alert tab, um, this is where you're going to want to go. It gets a little confusing, so stick with me here. So what you're going to want to do once you get to actions and events, you're going to want to hit create new action. So the name of the action, I'm going to name this liking stream a hundred times. So what's going to happen here? Every time somebody likes my stream a hundred times, I can either show an animation, show a picture, play an audio, play video file, show alert, etc., etc. Here, what I want to happen is to play an audio. So I hit play audio and open sound library. And I want to listen to this. What is this? SpongeBob fail? 
there's that. This, so let's go with that. I want this vibe boom to sound, so I'm gonna hit apply. Duration sound, I like to do like three seconds here, so it's super short. Should the trigger user receive a reward? No, they don't have to do anything, this is optional. And then the media sound volume, make this to your liking, I like to do just a little bit quieter. And I don't have any global cooldown, I'll enable fade in, and I'll keep all these settings as is and hit save. Now let's say I was like, oh, you know what? I want that vine boom sound to happen, but I also want their picture to pop up on screen. What you can do is just hit this little pencil button right here and it'll bring you back here. And then you can just tap show alert user in text. And then you can type something, for example, thanks for the hundred likes and then hit save. So now it's going to play that sound and show text that says, thanks for the hundred likes with their username that pops up. Next thing you're gonna do, and you want to do this with every single action that you make, you want an event to happen. So this is where you're going to define what triggers your action. So I hit create new event, stick to everybody, and then I'm gonna hit sending likes taps. And because we did 100 likes, I'm gonna type in 100 here. And then down where it says trigger all of these actions, I'm going to click that drop down that we just created, liking stream 100 times, and hit save. Cool. And then once you have your actions and events set up, what you're going to want to do is come down to this overlay screen settings tab and you're going to want to hit the screen one link. You're going to copy that, bring TikTok Live Studio back down, hit add source, link, add, copy and paste, and add your source. And that's pretty much all that I have on my TikTok stream. I keep it super simple, but if you wanna add some more things, I do have more options. For example, you can do a help command, points information, points transfer, wheel of fortune, or even point drop. I don't use points on my TikTok streams. There's also custom commands that you can build in. There's also a chat box that you can use. I personally don't use this. There's text-to-speech that could be really fun. All of your subscribers can have text-to-speech. Again, here are your users and the points that they've had. There's also transactions that you could see. Here's that timer tab yet again, if you wanna use a timer on your stream. The Wheel of Fortune, I believe this is a wheel that you can use like a command and your viewers can spin the wheel and they might like win something or get something or you have to do something. And then again, point drops. I don't use the points personally. I really, really use Tickfinity just for these sound alerts and overlays and I keep it really simple. So once you have everything that you want in your TikTok live studio, something that I like to do personally, which has fixed a few issues for me is I like to go to add source and I still like to keep this live alert widget here. And because I'm using those sounds on Tickfinity, I like to either delete any sound alerts here or just like zero them in all of the sounds here, just in case. Hit add source. And for the alert, I would just drag it up right here so I could see where they go. And if there's like any issues with Tickfinity, it still pops up, it's all good. It's just something that I like to personally do. There might be like a different way to do that, but this is how I like to do it. It's the easiest for me. It takes the least amount of time and I find the least amount of issues on my stream when I do that. And the most important thing you need to remember when you're using Tickfinity is to click start and every single time you stream on TikTok Live, you're gonna wanna have Tickfinity open. This website, you need to have this open. So save it, star it, maybe put it on your stream deck. You always wanna have it open before you go live. That is the most important thing here. And once you hit go live on TikTok Live Studio or open, OBS, you're going to hit connect to TikTok Live. That's how your alerts are going to transfer over to your OBS or TikTok Live Studio. And every single time you stream, you have to hit connect to TikTok Live. There have been times where people in my chat will be like, why aren't the alerts working? I just sent a hundred likes. It's because I didn't have Tickfinity open or set up. So make sure that you do that. It You need to get into the habit of doing that or else your alerts won't work. I hope this video helped. I know Tickfinity can be very confusing. It's still 
still pretty confusing for me too. So it's just something that you have to play around with and get used to. So if you're using Tickfinity and you have some fun alerts or if it made your TikTok live stream more fun and interactive, please let me know how so in the comments below. I would love to know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I very much appreciate it. I am on the road to a thousand subscribers and we are kind of close. So I would very much appreciate it if you were to subscribe. If you want to follow me, all of my socials are below. And I can't wait to see what you guys do with all your streams. I'll see you in my next video.